how to ride off a curb. Riding off a curb seems like it's almost too simple to even make a tutorial for it, and it may be too simple. But it's honestly one of the very first things that you're going to learn in skateboarding, and it's vital to get down. The first step of riding off a curb is simply just being able to hold the front of your board up. So whether you realized it or not, when you ride off a curb, you should hold the front of your board up, otherwise your nose is going to hit the ground and you're going to fall forward. So even if you can only lift the front of your board up enough to be able to ride over a crack, that's still going to be enough. Here's the classic red curb. So you can see as I approach the curb, I lift up just enough to keep the tip of my board in the air and be able to go off smooth, nice and smooth. Because basically what you want to do is you want to be able to keep your board level as you drop off the edge. One thing that I do when I'm riding off something or popping off or starting to go downstairs is I always keep my eyes on the edge as I'm approaching it and then on where I'm going to land as I come off of it. So you can see me lift up just enough right there just to keep my board level in the air and then I'll drop off, land on all four wheels, and then I can roll away smooth. So once you very first start skateboarding, even before you learn how to ollie, you should be pushing around, you should get your turns down, and you should begin riding off of curbs. When I teach lessons, one of the first things that I teach people how to do is ride off the curb. Not only does it give you like a good idea of how to balance on the board as like the next level than just riding flat, but it also can build your confidence in getting up to be able to do like bigger things and realize that you can do more on your skateboard. What I notice a lot of times is that when people first start skateboarding, a lot of things seem kind of terrifying to them. Like, wow, I could never just like roll like that. It's so scary to go off the curb. So once you get really used to doing these things and you can just do it so naturally, you're just turning naturally, pushing naturally, going wherever you want, and you can just roll off curbs, then skateboarding becomes a lot more fun. The obstacles that you can do are more open. Sometimes one of the funnest things to do on your skateboard is to just literally cruise around, pop up curbs, pop down curbs, push, dodge cracks and just roll around. So let's break this down here. As I approach the edge of the obstacle, I'll be watching the edge of the curb. And then I'll begin to lift my front foot up and just do a little bit of a manual just enough so my back wheels can roll off and my board can stay level in the air and I can land on all four wheels. Like I said earlier, if you don't lift up, then your board is just gonna get stuffed like your front of the board is going to come off and your nose is going to slam right into that asphalt and you're not going to be able to ride off the curbs successfully. In Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, I break down every single part of all of the basics of skateboarding. Step 1 of all of those parts is mastering the basics of riding. You can add to the basics of riding, riding off curbs because it is a very essential part to mastering the basics of skateboarding. From the first step, you guys can progress from there. So click the red annotation and get your copy of Skateboarding Made Simple. I guarantee it'll help you progress fast in your skateboarding.